Hello viewers, wherever you're watching us from, you're reminded you're watching Fuel TV broadcasting live from our studios on Kairaba Avenue. My name is Alu Sisi and welcome to this panel discussion on road safety management. Uh, tonight's edition, uh, I'm joined by the Permanent Secretary at the Minister of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, Motke Sisi, who is uh, on my left. And on my immediate right, I have Moud Sengor, the Director General of the, uh, of the National Roads Authority. And next to Mr. Sengor is Esa Drame, Director of Planning at the Ministry of Transports, Works and Infrastructure. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Just to remind you, we are also streaming this program live on our Facebook page and also on the YouTube channel. As I said, this is a very important panel discussion on road safety management. But before we go into discussion of this important topic, we have a short video to play for you. Let's have a watch. Hey, Sumawai. You made it down. Del Bay Sahel. Bula Sabane, Jaral Sabakan, Agbujambo. Be the motto. Walla Sah, bicycle. Moy to Bubari la latch. Nah Fuken and the Jum. Your Wanga de Fluwar pur moy to accident. We may want to drive as we see fit, but we forget that there's a high chance of losing control, putting your life and others at risk. One of the most dangerous accidents happens where a cyclist has earplugs on with limited awareness of his surroundings, thus fulfilling his desire and signing a death warrant. With those on, are you fully focused? No. And supposedly something happens especially behind you. Even if you would be alerted, you wouldn't hear anything. And whereas a driver neglectfully has his or her car door left wide open on the highway, most times, cyclists would run into it, causing serious accidents. These are not just responsibilities for one, but rather collective. It is a duty upon every individual on the highway to be attentive and focused, not just for you, but others as well. You need to be very careful, especially on the highway, because your life depends on it. In the Gambia, most of us take these events too lightly. We may be conscious of its consequences, but yet we are still negligent. Some of these accidents changes lives. And most times, it isn't the type of change we want, because it may end up fatal. And with certain types of injuries, we might not regain health and could be given limited chances to live. Let us not throw away the one life we have. Put away the ignorance and let's build a better Gambia. Put your life first. Remember, safety is not expensive. It is priceless. Well, as you have just seen, a quite interesting such video there about you know the realities of what we see every day on our traffic. Well, uh, Mr. Piers Murke Sisi, we are today talking about the issue of road safety management. Uh, when you talk about road safety management, what are you talking about here? Mr. Sisi, thank you so much. Um, let me first um, uh, take opportunity to pay condolence to the late uh, IGP, um, Mahmoud Job. Uh, who has been a very good partner of our ministry when it comes to traffic management. So I cannot be here discussing uh, road safety and traffic issues without uh, uh, paying condolence uh, to him and praying for his soul to rest in peace. When you talk about road safety management, it's about uh, safety precautions that pedestrians as well as drivers or users of the road um, takes to make it sure that uh, they drive safe and also reach home or their destination safe. Uh, because like this shot have indicated, we only have one life. So we, we don't have to take chances with our life. Uh, it is generally observed that uh, close to 90% of the accidents or road safety accidents is as a result of human error. Yes, there is the road there, there is the vehicle there, but likely the human error. And if you control the human error or, or limit the human error, then there are good chances that uh, we'll be home safe. Well, you, you raise a very important issue about the issue of road safety. No doubt, uh, you know, road accidents have been uh, one of a key factor for most death, especially in developing countries such as, such as the Gambia. But, but uh, 
Mr. Sengo, you are the Director General of the National Roads Authority. What is the mandate of your office as far as this road safety management is concerned? Well, thank you, Ali. Um, the mandate of the National Road Safety uh, Authority in um, road safety uh, uh, is uh, with regards to engineering of the road. Um, we build roads to make sure, in fact, it starts all the way from the design. Um, when we design roads, I think we already have, we would have had safety in mind. Every road is designed with safety in mind. And that's what is what what transcend to uh, uh, what we call uh, the actual situation. Uh, when a road is built, is designed and built, and then open to traffic, uh, that safety uh, we had during the design stage. That's what we expect to see applying um, in application once the road is open to the public, the general public. But how is it like in terms of planning? Well. Uh, it's complex uh, because uh, we, we, when we design, we look at the alignment, uh, what we call, of course, the crest. If you are driving uh, towards uh, Jarasoma, you know, you will notice that uh, when you come to hilly areas, the side distance is obscured at one stage. Uh, so what we, that's what we call the crest, for example. We make sure that uh, our roads are designed to minim so that side distances can be can be can be can be obtained within the required specifications. Uh, by that I mean when you're driving towards the hilly area, there comes uh, say um, uh, within five, f fifteen to twenty meters before you get to uh, f before you get to the actual top peak of the uh, the hill, uh, you don't see the op you don't see the vehicles coming on the other side. Um, that is for a very short distance. So we try to minimize this uh, in our designs with as much as possible. Uh, the other one is we try to minimize sub bends in our designs. I'm not saying we should eradicate them because it's difficult to have roads, you know, designed and built uh, all the way through without having sort of, but we minimize and make sure they, uh, uh, they are designed uh, within acceptable radiuses so that the points of curvature and the radius of curvature uh, uh, for, for drivers to maneuver over those bends is kept uh, min uh, to, to the minimal. So uh, I, make, I can go on and on. Um, uh, the other one is, of course, the camber. Um, camber means, you see, uh, if you're driving on a road, uh, the highest point on the s is on the center line of the road. So as you move to the sides, the level goes down. So we also try to minimize this uh, so that uh, once vehicles drive on the road and they happen to lose control, they can still maneuver and, of course, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, safely, you know, st stop within the, the required safety distance without, of course, uh, injuries or fatalities. T t thank you very much, uh, Mr. Senghor, Director General of the National Roads Authority. Uh, Yes, sir. Y you were here uh, the last time uh, we were discussing about the issue of uh, pedestrian safety. Today we are talking about the issue of you know, road safety management. Uh, un undoubtedly, this has attracted so much attention, including even the World Bank, which has come up with that global road safety facility. Uh, I mean, could you just tell us uh, why do you think the World Bank is, is so much interested about, uh, about road safety? Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sise. I think the answer is you know quite simple because you know if you look at you know the, the figures you know they are really you know worrying actually you know it is the UN you know that is you know coordinating the uh, the issue of you know road safety through you know WHO but you know the global road safety you know facility you know they are a very good you know partners but if you look at the uh, the UN recommendation in 2004 it's like, you know, any country which is serious in promoting its, you know, road safety or improving its road safety need to have a lead, sa uh, uh, lead agency, you know, for, for road safety. So at the level of the ministry, that's, you know, what we are, you know, playing uh, because we are doing sort of a coordination because, you know, you have, you know, different players, you know, when it comes to, you know, road safety. You just talk about uh, the engineering. Engineering is one, 
you have enforcement, and then you have education. Before, you know, we talk about, you know, five E's, but it has been extended, you know, uh, we, we, we have been talking about three E's, but it has been extended, you know, to the five, you know, E's, where the issue of, you know, post crash emergency, you know, response uh, is included, and the issue of, you know, evaluation and, you know, monitoring has been. So it's like there is the need, you know, to have a body, you know, to coordinate, you know, these, you know, activities. Because otherwise, you know, the NRA, you know, they will be doing their activities in isolation. The police, you know, they will be doing their... It's more like going to have a fragmented intervention. Yeah, fragmented, so yeah. Okay. But it's like there should be a coordinated, you know, body to manage, you know, the affairs. You know, the body that will uh, take charge, you know, of, you know, the promotion. The issue of you know legislation is a problem. Uh, the issue of you know funding also, we have to look for you know funds. So that's why you know at the lo uh, level of the ministry, we bring in all these you know players you know together, and then we give them tax. Uh, in terms of accountability, also this is very good. For example, because we look at the issues in relation to the engineering, and then uh, we prepare our work plan. And then agree that you know these are the engineering measures you know that need to be you know implemented. It's so not like you're gonna have harmonized. Yeah, harmonized, harmonized you know you know kind of you know activities. So it is you know very important you know to have uh, uh, road uh, road safety you know management you know in place uh, for any country you know that is serious in improving its road safety. Yeah. Thank you very much, Esther Dram. Well, viewers, we remind you that you're watching QTV and we're broadcasting live from our studio along Kairaba Avenue. I'm here with officials from the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure. We're talking about the issue of road safety management. And with, with me in the studio, I have the Permanent Secretary, Mod KCC, Mod Senghor, National Roads Authority, and as a drama. Uh, just to remind you, you know, we will open the line so that uh, if you want to call in and you know, share with us your contribution, your observations, or if you have any question, you know, we will open the lines very soon, I mean, so that you can also join in the program. Uh, P.S. Uh, Esa is talking about the issue of this, you know, the, 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 the intervention of the UN through, through the, gro the global ro uh, road safety. Uh, could you just share with us uh, what has the World Bank, of course, through this global road safety doing in the country? to support uh, at least improve road safety in the Gambia, if there is any? Yeah, Mr. Sisi, okay, before I talk about the external players or support that we are having from our partners uh, to improve or enhance this safety, let me de delve a little regarding the road safety management chain uh, to give you, uh, viewers a broader perspective of, of what we're talking about here. Um, there is institu there's institutional and legal framework uh, guiding road safety management. In that, we have the Motor Traffic Act and regulation. We have the transport policy. We also have the highway codes. We have the licensing regime for both the drivers as well as the vehicle. We're talking about road safety institutions such as the road safety unit we have at the Ministry of uh, Transport. You have emergency services, and when we're talking about emergency services, including ambulances. Um, you have also the Ministry of Health and Health Facilities. You have the NRA, which is the National Road Authority, in terms of the engineering pers uh, perspective. You have the Police Department and Coordination Technical Committee, which ESA actually uh, leads. You also have road safety instruments, such as road design, safety audit, traffic management in particular, including registration, testing, licensing, and enforcement. We're talking about also road user surveys, accident risk and prone mapping, public sensitization, among others. Then on the programs, we're talking about highway and street lightning, digitization of, 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 the pol of the traffic management processes, capacity building for actors and users of the road, installation of artificial intelligence and road expansion that the director also talks about. That in broad sense is what constitutes the road safety management chain. Now with respect to partners, um, partners we do share with them our concepts and our programs and then they would identify areas that they would want to key in and fund particular aspects of, of whatever uh, chain that Engineering. they want to sit on. And it's not only about the World Bank, it's also about um, so many philanthropies um, including NGOs and non-state actors who are all interested in the business of road safety. Um, in the Gambia here, it's beginning to pick up but act actually we want to see increase interest of the public 
on real safety matters. Because like I said, um, saving lives is everybody's business. And in the traffic jargon, we said the road, that life you save may be your own. own. So that is, that is very important. Senor, yeah. you have heard what PS is just saying about all these things as far as the, the road safety management the chain is concerned. Yes. But in terms of implementation, I mean, mm -hmm. you can have all these things you know, nicely written in a document and all that, but in terms of implementation, do you think much is being done? Yes, uh, we've done a lot over the years. Um, I mean, we've improved uh, kilometers of, of course, our road networks to very, to very bad, from very bad to, of course, where, where, where to very good where we are now, excellent conditions. Um, and uh, uh, when we improve roads, we also, as I said, we, you know, we, uh, in our, in our uh, we have um, road safety in our minds. Uh, we create facilities for pedestrians. Uh, in our new designs, uh, we also uh, make sure that uh, you know signages are. Uh, if you if you look at some of most of the new roads we built, uh, they are all well lit. You know, the, the the markings are you know in perfect good conditions. Of course, the signages are pretty good, but uh, you know we also have to bring in this factor of uh, pilfering, uh, which we really suffer and we continue to suffer. Um, when we put open roads with wonderful signages and uh, give it four or five years, I mean, down the line, they, they all disappear. But this is something what National Roads Authority represents. This is what we stand for. It is our responsibility to make sure, you know, uh, so, you know, um, signages are replaced in the way they're supposed to be according to the design and make sure, you know, all the other facilities are created for. In the but then the question uh, we must ask ourselves is, uh, it, it, it's road safety at its worst when roads are bad or, you know, when, when oh roads yeah. are, uh, you know, improved. So this is the, the question we need to ask ourselves. When roads are very bad, you know, of course, uh, vehicles move at a very s slow speed. So if you look at uh, some of our statistics on such roads, the level of fatalities and, of course, uh, even minor injuries are very minimal. But uh, look at some of the roads we've just improved uh, recently. Because the, the statistics are high, for one reason. It's because vehicles move at high speeds. Yeah, maybe they're overtaking by overtaking the Overtaking, yes, so really. So. so this is the question we need to ask ourselves. Um, it's a challenge, and as Pierre said, we are all in it together. Road safety is everybody's business. Uh, all on Sunday. So um, I, feel, I think if we all play our part, including the most vulnerable, which is of course the pedestrians and the cyclists and of course the motorcyclists, I'm sure so we'll get somewhere and we'll be able to reduce the fatalities and some of the injuries we've, we, we've incurred over the years. Well, Esa, with all these things, do you think uh, we, we have that necessary human and you know, financial resources to implement most of these uh, most of these? Uh, plans yeah I in terms of the uh, the human resources i think you know it is there coming back to your question that you posed to you know saying or what have been done actually a lot have been done you know over the years you know in terms of you know road safety in the gambia but because you know it is not coordinated you know people don't see you know what actually you know is happening NRA, they doing their things, you know, police, you know, they doing, you know, enforcement. For example, if you come to NRA, you know, they have been constructing, you know, a lot of, you know, speed homes. You know, you've been seeing, you know, this, you know, zebra, you know, crossings. If you come to the, uh, in terms of, you know, enforcement, you know, uh, the legislations, if you look at the helmet, uh, the use of, you know, helmet, the, the use of, you know, mobile phones, Seat belt. Seat belts, you know. We, we came up, you know, with all, you know, those, you know, legislations, and they are all geared towards, you know, improving, you know, road safety. But they are effectively know, implemented. People are violating those, those, yeah, those, yeah, those yeah, regulations. Yeah, that, that, that is another issue. So that's why at our level we want to improve on the, the management, you know, bit. That's why, you know, we want to coordinate, you know, the activities. Because, you know, for this year, you know, we have, like, a work plan you know, that we came up with, you know, which is, you know, costed about, you know, 92, you know, million. But if you, I, million dollars. But if you look at, you know, the some bulk of the money is coming from the, the, the NRA, you know, budget. 
for me, you know, personally, maybe we might say, you know, road safety is, is underfunded to some, you know, extent. Because if you really want to improve, you know, road safety, you know, you have to allocate, you know, resources, you know, to rate. Because if you look at, you know, countries like, you know, Nigeria, where, you know, they're allocating about, you know, 80 million dollars, you know, annually towards, you know, improving, you know, road safety. So if we are really serious about, you know, improving our, you know, road safety, you know, we have to allocate, you know, needed, you know, resources. But do you think the issue of road safety is just about building money? It shouldn't be just about the money. It depends how well you spend that money as well. You might, you can be given hundred million dollars, but if the money is not well spent, at the end of the results wouldn't be that much. Yeah, that don't you think that also counts? Yeah, because it's 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 a gradual you know process. Because if you look at our level, the ministry, you know, we started with coming up you know with a policy, and then we also have a strategy, and then with the strategy will be accompanied with an action you know plan. So it's like you know for us now we you know we will f we will implement that action plan. We will establish the baseline where we are and then we set ourselves you know target for example uh, if you look at the statistics our accident you know figures are about 100 and you know something so we will set our target you know to have you know that amount so it's like maybe in you know 5 years time we will say for example our uh, fatalities on our roads you know should not be you know more than you know 56 or so but you need resources to implement, you know, activities in order to achieve, you know, that particular, you know, results. Well, P.S., aside from what he, what he has just raised, the issue of people violating some of these regulations governing the way people should use the traffic, we have so many n number of vehicles that are not roadworthy, that are imported into the country. What do you think should be done to ensure that some of these vehicles that are not roadworthy are not allowed into the country or even to apply on the road? This is a concern. Yes, this is about uh, policy issues as well as enforcement issues. But I just wanted to um, uh, pick up on the uh, question that you asked, and it's very, very important, whether or not we have the resources to be able to uh, implement road safety programs. Okay, two aspects. One, even if you don't have the money, we must find the money, because the, li the life is more precious um, than the money. Number two is the fact that uh, the bulk of the road safety measures that we need to take actually doesn't cost anything. Uh, and you can list, li li list them. I mean, how much does it cost to wear and properly use seat belt? Um, how much does it cost to, to pay attention to, to, to on the traffic when you're driving? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, to abstain from alcohol or drug-related matters, substance, uh, when driving, does it cost, does it cost anything? Um, uh, refusing to join a non road water vehicle is a judgmental issue um, and the list goes on and on so I'm saying yes from the engineering perspective a uh, lot of resources are required to be able to install this uh, artificial intelligence uh, building smart corridors and protecting the Palestinian uh, but apart from that basic infrastructure that you need to lay out there uh, majority of it uh, are actually uh, doesn't cost anything it's just a matter of um, uh, the users being intelligent and being able to know uh, how to use the, the, the root uh, infrastructure. And also for the police to strictly apply the laws um, and, 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 and fines where, uh, where uh, uh, when uh, traffic offenses are, uh, are made. So to your point, um, in terms of uh, policy, um, there is a road transport policy. There is also vehicle policies, and the objective of those policies actually is to make sure that uh, those who are supposed to drive, drive. Those who are not supposed to drive are um, out of the way or out of the road. Uh, vehicle road, road worthy, only making sure that proper testing regimes are in place to weed out vehicles that are not road worthy. Making sure that um, uh, the police uh, apply the laws and the regulation with matters with matters of uh, traffic offences. Um, um, having uh, a limit on age vehicles, um, etc. So yes, um, to a large extent, uh, these are policy and, and, and enforcement matters, which we are collaborating with the police on, on our on our on our own actually. Um, 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 advocating for the 
introduction of some of these good policies. But you can have a policy on paper, but also um, uh, make it and take effect. Implementation, implementation. has always been a problem for this country. Yes, because I, mean, I know you have you good policies, but implementation is always a problem. I, I agree. But I'm saying, I think... Uh, and to be fair to you, it's not only your ministry. I mean, it, it's a, it cut across all the ministries. Yeah, implementation. Yeah, actually, I used to hear a very, um, uh, an elder of uh, a very wise man, uh, Baxture, do say that we have very good uh, policies and plans, but it's a question of implementation. Uh, and I do say to him, but do we have the money? Uh, well, he will always refuse to concede and say, <laughs> the money can always be found. So, so this, is, this is the situation, yes. Thank you very much, P.S. Uh, well, viewers, just to remind you once again that you're watching QTV, and this is a live panel discussion with officials from the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure. Today we are talking about the issue of road safety management. I know uh, we'll go into the local language just to allow our viewers who are also listening to and watching to know exactly what we are talking about. And uh, I know my team in the control room will share the numbers on your, on your screen so that you can call and you know, take part in this discussion. If you have any observation, recommendation, or question that you want to uh, put, put forward, then you, know, you can just uh, call and you know, share with us your views and opinions. Well, Piers, let's just start. Lignyekadibakani uh, taimonekad road safety management. So they get road safety management to Angale, Lolo Lala Ferne, Lolo Mailan. Road safety management, Bate Angale, why Lung Ferne, Lalmoy, Yonbe, Motoy Agnini, Nunko Yuse, Nunko Yuse, the Demnasi Motoy Sibopom, Nakala or Men, Nakala or Bindo, Yan safety features lower arm. Bodi mesin si nini tama na nini hamne nini yoy wara use yata mi diyan ba? Uh, Amna nini wara moito buo use yata mi diyan ba? Amna yubari nini ang kawde si kawo yon ba? Jadu uh, refetu. Um, Boko sa lo nagdafa na ka si bopo bibe si chat ba? Lo hamne mun stage bu na ka rek dafa am nung wara dohe ak lumotere ak 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 lun 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 uh, so you, you, them guys, you know, uh, traffic management, mungfa. Them guys, you know, have ne, have na law abi, ak regulations, tami mungfa. Am na tami you know, uh, um, uh, licensing. Come sa so we drive, you know, Tesla, have ne mungfa drive. Uh, medically, tami finger put drive. Then you don't have licensing. Buni la wala jo licensing, wala la kojo. Teenage driving, wala drunk driving. Wala nyo ane ala wunko um, yon bi amna nung wara bindo uh, amna iya na yon hamne bode fe linyo oye rude audit uh, in terms of risk warna mo pass audit so yon gaya def nga make sure ne lepulo hamna dal dina dimbale nyo yon use yon bi be din cham accident wala ganyo ganyo wala yon fang hango ko Wow, I'm not sure top Mr. Senghor yaw yaw jite linga ane monika nasan rose authority yon sen office ban lan mo nek sen wargal si so 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 nek de waxtani fi road safety man mi denga ps lu mo fi legi ni yow sen yow sen office bala ma de de pani we have a caller on the line hello caller hello yes welcome to the program what's your name and where are you calling us from uh my name is abu mar okay abu where are you calling from yes uh, i'm calling from bakao all right welcome um the program is very interesting. Thank you. And uh, it's a worthwhile program. And I uh, think the panel, uh, the chemistry of the panel, um, the substance is a bit lacking. I'm not trying to condemn or castigate, but uh, the road involves three people that the driver, the police, and the commuter. I think in the panel, um, actually, uh, people from these walks of life, so that uh, each person will be able to explain where they are affected and where we should make some improvement. Okay. Um, the police, if you see them standing on the road, it's because of the drivers. If you see the drivers running, it's because of the commuters. So if these people are lacking in this panel, I don't think 
and there can be a fair play. Um, commuters are affected either directly or indirectly. And uh, that warrants some of these issues with the police getting tough with the um, driver. Uh, National Road Authority, yes, we don't know how much they are participating within the movement of the commuters in the greater Banyan area. And uh, in fact, that has a, a great impact on the government institutions because people get to work very late, congestion of traffic, and uh, if you see the road within the greater Banyan area, and the sellers, the hawkers, they occupy the road, and uh, the pedestrians, they don't have a way to walk, and um, they are always crossing the road, and in fact, that warrants a lot of accidents. Um, I was part of the VPF in 2019. Gambia is marked number six or number eight, the most serious accident countries in the world. And Gambia is just a small place. It's not even a town. But what can we do so that we avoid people building on the highways, we avoid people uh, parking their vehicles for the whole day of even 48 hours? So these may condition and can cause other accidents. Thank you, thank you so much. Th thank you so much, uh, Senor. Uh, you have heard what this caller is, is saying. I, I know, I mean, yes. I'll, I'll thank you very much, caller, for, for that observation and questions you have just raised. I know this is going to be a continuous program, and then I know in subsequent episodes, you know, we will have drivers, and of course, the last, the last program, we, 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 we we had a police officer who would join us. Actually, King Collie was supposed to join us, but because of reasons uh, beyond him, he couldn't join us. And, and that's why we are also opening the line so that people can call and share with us their views and opinions as to what they think about this uh, road safety management. Yes, Senor, yeah, you're far from the caller. I agree with what he said. Uh, if you look at the roads in the... If you like, you can say it in, in the local language as well. Because... Because so change so say you only see a man area you mention the greater banyu area legal. Uh, definitely try to swing can't like that and see then funny. Why I'm the funny you have the better legal man roads authority like you get why I'm the you have the more have the better soil and improvement. And because I'm the you you have the better amun sidewalks finding you are a dog lulu legal. I have got domain at the same time lulu legal. Why Nico VPS were here one. Road safety is not so good. It's not so good. There are many people who have sidewalks, many drains. So you can see the brick, Westfield brick. You can see the people who have to go. Why do you go to the park? You can see the people who have to go. Because the people who have to go to the park, they have to go to the park, they have to go to the park, they have to go to the park. That's what we have to do. We have to promote the road accident. We have to go to the park. So lima wah dega lah. So lima, lima dah nilai semua wajib mui. Road safety ni nyep suin business lah. Ni nyep. Wah, for am kujit. Wow, mui mui in the disk management issue. Pur ni nyep ni put suin heads together. Ad digitally Ministry of Transport. Mui hamne mui bank hasim guru be responsible yon ye gane. Ah, so motor ministerial initiative be pur ni digital ye fe ni nyep. You end you together with policy, with the pedestrians, agnyan and agnyan and put you niem you said naka la nyomuna safari di because you niem am na si bot si naka jai kati legi legi nga giskunyo tek palatam aglo lo fumwa fumko orva tek ah koko moto bi duko feki mo mo nyom feka si moto bi hamga yo yep issues la nyi why you link fuck at the Ministry of Transport mo ene you niem so in the ni yep si bena si bena go. Si bena room, new talk, new exchange ideas, new iwa. Fogna di na yung muna sa fara li heo si ko tali. Because yefi yidu tali birek. Because so na ro si yidu tali birek. Amna, the engineering error, the infrastructural error, amna. Motobitam sila boka. Motobisu baho te, di nga gis accident yo hamne motobi daw. Tanka yu nyo monte hinye, tanka yu maged la muid daw, dara jorro kore ngutoy. Motobi daw nu, ninyi de. So, Lolo is a motorbilla. Mr. Senghor, uh, I understand there's a caller. Yeah. Hello, hello, caller. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. W what's your name and where are you calling us from? Yeah. Good evening, brother. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Mohammed. 
You can feel free to speak in any of the local language if you wish, please. Yeah, I live in Serafina. Okay. Yeah, I just want to don't 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 listen to the point that I observed like the previous caller just stated. Yeah, go ahead. Don't listen to the television. Just listen to a mobile phone, please. Yeah, like uh, what the previous caller said is very very important. The traffic needs to be regulated. So the police officers are trying, but the drivers seem not to care. So I think everybody's responsibility is to make I'm, sure that the I'm, safety of the... I'm, I'm afraid. It seems we are not getting you clearly. I mean, we are not clearly, we, we are not getting that color very clearly here on, okay. on, on, on the thing. Yes, uh, Mr. Senghor, uh, yes, uh, I'll come back to you. Let me just engage Esa on this thing. Esa, for, for the sake of our Mandinka viewers, what are we discussing here today? Bimbimune uh, Katakambi, road safety management, Nyamwe, road safety management, Bumu Angala Kangwate, but where is it? Uh, Barakawaki, Mr. Sise, coming, coming for uh, road safety management. Coming, uh, Pruka accident or Kang Pantankala, Ba manage Nola Nyadi, Banko Kang Nyadi. But Nea Jube, coming accident or Kang Pantanka, Maral Dula Jamale Maratal. Nea Jube, Menoka Silo Deda, Ye Hapo Soto Jele, Police Old Fanal. Menuka lo silo kanka traffic control ya ya poso to jele anin ne ya jube education men ya longo pro e kan hakelol bulandi ko la menu nyanna kela wol fanal be hako hapol soto jele so bari comment pour ka nyum mol be be samba no la nyaadi la comment momo nyanna men kela pour yaake you know akuma akuma ya akuma ya tabake la so ministry Dolo, you know, nama, uh, na load la mwolete, pruka jube, coming loud la, do good loud la, inye na menke la, you know, e, e bike la nyadile. So wala na uh, different players, nye be samba nang, you know, pru momo inye na menke la, e bike la. Because nye ajube kuja ma le nye na kela, nye ajube na luwal, meni ya longo kede da, wul, you know, kumayata le, silo ulifana, uh, sengori kufo jame ya longo, you know, kumayata, because nye accident waketa. Jamaa beji kafole ko ah na silo le mon bete ya wala na accident keta bara nyinen karo ke fo silo le ne bete ya talaban accident ka ke fo ne mon bete ya le fana you know accident ka so e ka jube nyum fana flo be you know a be accident ka ke lal because isa ye ni silo mon bete ya ni ngata din ko beji ni drive wala ta ka jenke din ko la as e accident as a sab no bara isa jube no ni silo fana ni a bete ya ta fana you know motol ni be borba ke la fana o fana sati na no you know accident o ayike but you know to nya mu menti wolem accident o commenta ta fono la ate soto la accident o you know fire soto saying you know lonnal you know da korra men na wolem accident o comme hadama do on ta bay no la but comme say ni accident o keta mba comme ala masibo mba talala nyaadi so we like to know who Jamal many are long question like for example, ni accident or keta, menu be lopthano to, menu bulata accident or kono be futano la lopthano to, you know nyadi le, you know will be kumaya tale. So we like to know told menu be ministry, told you know, proka nyimu will be ke samana, mo mo ni na menu kala ngaju be you know ilo ilo dola. Akamuta fano tabake le, ni fano safety management. Yeah, yeah, fano tale. So I don't know how to call it, but I don't know how to call it traffic management. I don't know how to call it at the level of the road safety. But in the traffic management, I don't know how to call it at the level of the road safety. I don't know how to call it at the level of the road safety. I don't know how to call it at the level of the road safety. And I don't know how to call it at the level of the road safety committee. I don't know how to call it at the level of the road safety. You know, do you know, Tansaba, or many along with you know, Kanale, you have to look for any new or many new nakela. You know, like you know, you know, you know, you have to jam all the new or many along with life takeela, and you know, you go start to look for many new or like, to mandoba to you know, accident or you know, Mbatalala, you know, Gambia Bankokan. 
Yes, PS, you have heard what, what some of the scholars are saying about the history of the Biri Nakalangwara manager Yonyi. Yes, it's a lot. Fungani, Kanmo Wara Jitu, Ningam Monica Siwali management. You buried me one okay, Nasar of what you want to be called the Bahut, you know, you want to drive by, you know, you know, anything I'm a new dosu and the sudden you know, go by by you and because my gamber like the Ganitman and driver so my lady in the ham. So see how uh, longer for me. Lol money the the real problem. Okay, a problem is very We have another one. The number one manager, my, you guys have no more user on this platform. The user, my number one manager. Because the mom, 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 la ko have ne bo accident ame mom la mo affect. So um, prevention is better than cure. Why funga coffee? You guys, you guys, you guys, drive so much lale, so much lale, you ham. Why, why, bula lale, bula, bula. So much, so much, bula lale, so much. That's all. Yano ko yarare. Yano ko yalakaral aja na. Um, love it anga yu muje. Um, lumo buka wamo ine. It breaks my heart because objectively yon. So ko yedefar. I'm sure most of you will subscribe to this. Moi purga muna move goods and people. Bena Palas, Bega Bena Palas, Lugau, Luyomba, Bepere Ak Moanda Karange. Legi Dak Nga put all of that investment, the Nga Gisne, Lulu, objective of Nekro to achieve. More than okay, we need to step back. It's either new Lunyan Lunia Karadefare Yonbe, and the Nekro to defer properly, while Nunga Hamanyam Nora use Yonbe, coming new use Yonbe. So, and that is why, like I said, this uh, uh, rule out of road safety program in the Gambia, making sure that at least, as Esa puts it, so you can fatality, you can gain it. You can gain it, injury, road accident. But you can complete this. You can see that it is at an acceptable level. But there are places like Sweden. You can open it, you can open it. Degala jono apartment kah mun mun. Why? Yeah, please. I'm 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 meeting on Sunday. I say call on the line. Okay. Hello, caller. Hello, salam alaikum. Waalaikum salam. Hello, Kaira Drong. Kaira Drong. Ito dun ani ibe ibe. Hello, problem wa be abe 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 he abasi da. Ito dun ani ibe kina dun mitole. Ande to mu bolanjuara uti. Okay. Do you have any questions? Yes, I have a question about traffic in Kenya. I have a question about Kenya. Yes, 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 I have a question about Kenya. Can you tell me about the telephone? Yes, I have a question about the telephone. Yes, I have a question about the telephone. Yes, I have a question about the telephone. From Lamento. Okay. Continue. Continue, Kadiam. Mm Kela -hmm. Hello, Bolong. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Drive on and Jamal. Yeah, taxi drive on. It can fight slow, can it? Without no signal. Okay. Ab ab abaraka baake. Abaraka baake, Bolong. Uh, Yes, Mr. Senor, Denga Koko Lumwa, Lumwa is so say. If I'm 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 not lying to you, I'm not jubut. I'm a taxi driver. I'm not doing a cough. I'm not doing a signal. Denga Lumwa. What are you doing? If you lying to you, observe what you're doing. You know, no laughing. I'm not lying to you. I'm more road marking. See, then they hala, you know, so yeah, yes, so you're doing that way. From you paint to red light. So you have to then connect. Why lima lawa? Nous ne pouvons pas faire des choses qui nous ont fait. Nous ne pouvons pas faire des choses. Parce que c'est ce qui est le cas. Il faut que les taxis drivers ne soient pas les gens. Si nous avons fait des choses, nous avons fait des choses. Si nous avons fait des choses, nous avons fait des choses. Parce que si les pays de la Suède, par exemple, nous avons fait des choses. 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 Pedestrian yeta, polisi yeta, bunge flu, bunge flu ndani yoto, nyui hola nte tulu lulu dunyo yuko fed, mota nyui wahne, kum niko ministry bi defeni, nyui nyab nyui come together, nyui bolo, nyui said nakala inko safari, wai bunge talk, 
ñuy bleem ben ben fana ne ñu ñoo responsable lu tax ma wax lolu because su accident amé dañ dé def amna luñ dé def ñu ko oyé euh naka road safety audit dañ ko dé def pour xol yoni sa pour xol la na cause accident bi so ko lé normally so défé lolu di nga gis né yoon bi ci accident bi yoon bi amna ci wala hina driver bi sam amna ci wala on asang moto bi tam amna ci wala on asang yombu accident am nga def lu ñoo oyé investigative audit nga am gis né ben factor rek mo responsible accident bo yombu so normally fo nga am in multiple a combination of factors ñoo ñoo ñu responsible for that accident so mota lolu daf ñu jangal lena moy ne buñ tok di blémanté di wané ñi la di la ñi la ñi la nañ tok wa wangolo mu dum na ñaaka parce que suñu nga joxé liggéey à sa agency am nga askan bi motanga nek fa té nekulo def sa liggéey fop ni ci wax né enar né nekuy def sa liggéey wala lolu mo dum na ñaaka mo fo nga am ño xamné dañu dew def liggéey am wala def ba def li lolu do dum na ñaaka way limal bëgg la ci yeen ndax am nga any data ci wali accident yu dé am ci 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 dëkk bi Sorry uh, uh, before you come in I understand that's a caller. Mm-hmm. Hello caller. Hello assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Hello assalamu alaikum. In ke moy le? Wow, man na mo bu na contribute ci program bi tout le day. Wow, acha mon nga mon nga wa. Wow, program bi important na you know because you uh, dami driver and you dey this uh, lan mo ne ka di dem traffic. Okay. Why man lu mo bu na ko Yes, I was coming to the issue of data. I know we're running out of time, but about the data, do you have a data in place that tells you the number of accidents that you register every every year across the country in terms of you know working with the police? Because in most of these these accidents, police yako de jal. Nak amgen that you know joko lo ak police. Am na nko. Why am ga kom luwa bi nimko terale? Police yu nyor responsible for enforcement. Fim ne ni nyom nyoko jal. Why na nko de se ya? Why? ñu ngi liggéey together because ñun gis nañ ne data biñ dé jël amna deficiencies ona sang amna luñ ci mëna yoka so mota ñun ñep wi 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 buñ togé ñun ñoo police yi d'accord nañ ne template bi ñoo use template bi police yi di use ah dañ ko bëgga euh sanse touti wa bu ko défé mu halamit international standards comme ñene leen niñ ko dé use ona sang so loolu yépp is part of this road safety management linyo def uh, at the ministry so bokka na ci uh, because gis nañ ne amna yu ci manke te fok nañ ne ñun suñu toge you know dinañ ko mëna uh, live in together because uh, dina la mëna jox ben example moy ne the definition of uh, a traffic fatality su nit dé ci traffic kañ la su ko moto tamponé mu dé ci sa ci o su ko moto tamponé mu dem té dal l'hôpital 
mu day within 30 days o mu teda l'hopital day within 1 days ban la ci xam nga fok ñu d'accord ci yi dafa am niñ ko mu na le fini pour nga mu na ko classify as ne because of accident bu mota nit ki de ono sa yeneen yi moy fala fana medical le fini because ps1 ko fi l'hopital tam no medical li edward francis small hospital uh, the ministry of health bokka nañ ci so you you nañ ko check because luñu oyé nit ki su mandé mu am accident fo nga determiné mandi mandi bobu motam mu am accident because wow wow police dañu dé submit report exactly the report bi dina 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 woné uh, moto bi kay la am accident fan la amé accident ñaata nit ñoo ci gañu wala ñaata nit ñoo ci dé jigen la wala goor lañ cause of accident in their determination mm-hmm. um uh, respond time emergency mm-hmm. respond time yeah, response rescue yoyep yeah. amna mm-hmm. um and ñom esa lañ ko dé euh yoné ko dé fay lolu ps 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 mën nga ñu balat xamna ki moy somé dé ki moy nga sun la scola bi ya ya hello kola hello assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam yo mourum tan ko ké ké abou ma bakaw okay Um, uh, 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 yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, 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 isa de moyo ko nyoto anda flanda mo mhm lai sino kadi menula inna korosi la batele biko dindin dry phone ko katara korontoro na ani ni siru siru motol den wo it create another accident so anda again insurance motor insurance men kadi la ton la korosi roto motor men be kana je ka member tu wa bu aka mere dia di state of wearing and tear so whatever happens the damage is always serious ah abaraka bakke so nyale mo ha so no fun and contribute okay abaraka bakke nga nga ps be jana anala mo so nga no de e ba katla bakke ya respond bi do time kana ban na sign yes ps you were saying something about the issue of the data wa was saying that data from mon police and they send can to like counter they are doing very well you no submit monthly data quarterly data biannual data and annual data data suy non lu ko la wi wax deug la su ko ñom esa joté lañ ko dé analyse su ko défé ñu sét su nekké né dañ identify a hotspot ñu jé ba sét naka la ñoo fankay hotspot bu bu non ñu xeyna dañu dañ fa nit pour def speed bombs au pit homes yéna say mu nekk xeyna makin wul solve the wul solve the issue yéna yi dafa nekk um xeyna bu nekké né mbiri use of substance la illegal substance Uh, intoxicants then right that time again the police would be asked to look into it and then uh, uh, apply the law why why is data bo no so so ko na re analyze i'm not na la ci esa pour mo ko lo ci sosé lan mo lan mo nekk di the main factor the main cause of this accident why bota mané ci suma opuné no la non moy né the good news is that because uh, it's good for you ham lol non suba suba yen lol tam na muna jappalé lan ngeen wara yus pour muna address accident si bon la there's a there's a general perception né uh because yoni baxuñ yoni dañ xat uh mo dé cause accident si way ñun suñ gestu one of what the data reveals moy né actually fu yoni baxé ñaarel fofu l'accident di gëna bari over speeding bi Uh, and then yes ñun mënu du do buna rule out the 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 contribution of rule on accident or the condition of rule condition on accident but again the interesting bit is that uh, the non engineering the non non technical factor contribution mo mo gëna bari okay improvement of an uh, need to lay in the template me along with you know i'm not gonna kill 
and they are doing a program of an alcohol you know this year a big jelly because they are doing a common road safety improvement mon collier to get through a system of put in place so new years old bacon we are trying to put you know systems you know in place and then i like you know more men and jail back even you know some of them are like a somanda uh menu kata back a tangy brufuti no tangy Accident kaki bagi. Angam lagi last week. Gana tahun lalu ni lah. Yeah. Neng ala kiri nombor kita aje le. Enar ini nombor polis ol. Ani ministerial ngat aje ngah juve. So ibu aje le ngah hakil ol fain nyok angkau memuneh nyana kelaji. Because ite si nola rekom eh ia fu drong accident kaki jana le ia fu kau nyine nyana kelaji. So walat ini lah tangga mul bi sambaje. After ngah you know after nyok ang. After ngah agri kau you know nyine nyana kelaji. Naa terapu speed home ol nyana kelaji. Naa fu enar ini kau you know ia kelaji. And you know, we complain all the time. So to many along with our transport all come and blow to for many along with you know, a lot of speed home all kilajel. But you know, come at the end all the blow bit of fun at age ngah jube, nunga cool jube ngah jube. You know what sort of you know means or many along with anya anya na kila. So kuja malbe je come and mall ka menu for. Sometimes polite men. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, because I was talking to that because kunja ka call mungu na amna nyanda njam send full light. Wa amna nyanda njam light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you see that every day, so, 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 so what you good in your be? No, that is true because you know, some things you know, don't be pretty enforced, you know, mm -hmm. aka call it because the police will final jail, you know, come and join around the final in a table. Well, I didn't know program of an account. I be jail, you know, proca join around in the police will be a long because in the sea, like you know, police will be blame. No, whereas you know, in your do go kill a family man, you know, in 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 a sort of they are your partners, so so yeah, so well, I think now, you know, I'm not get wrong, come and say, no, you know, can't jump blame, can't jump blame, but you know, the problem on your bar solve and you know, and then when you send them to in your and yard, you know, proca problem on your proca assault. Well, Abaraka Bake, uh. Well, viewers, uh, with that, we come to the end of this uh, program. It was uh, safety management. Uh, mm -hmm. With me in the studio were officials of the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure. I had uh, Motke Sise, who is the Permanent Secretary at the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, and Modu Sengor, who is the Director General of the National Roads Authority, and uh, Esa Drame, Director of Planning at the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure. Well, with that, we complete our this program. Thanks so much for work, uh, watching, and we hope to see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching.